All right, welcome back to the channel. We have got another PGA Tour match for you today. Obviously, been a while since we've done one because it's been a while since I've played in a PGA Tour event, but we got a very special guest today, Ben Griffin. Everybody... Say hello to Ben. He's going to be our opponent today. Uh, we're obviously we're going to get into his story a little bit as the match progresses. Little match play, nine holes. I think my record's two and one. Are you ready? Yeah, we're going to see if you stay in the plus side of the ledger. Ooh. Uh, all right, let's get right into it. Got it, 172. 172, wow. So we're here, we're in Puerto Rico. We're back for the Puerto Rico Classic, I think is what it's called, and had a good week here last year actually the only good week we had so excited to be back here in Puerto Rico uh, I got a lot more content coming from here so um, stay tuned I mean, there's no way I could beat you well no there's a way it's just not super likely there's definitely a way dude I'm getting a call from Grant Horvat right now and I'm ignoring it to watch you hit a shot so that's how important you are to me exactly. <laughs> I love that <laughs> how many tournaments did you play in? Oh. Oh, it was just the that was, yeah. That's one down. Yeah, no, that's a good shot. Yeah. I'm one down for you. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? We got a little mud ball. We're playing with clean. And you know what? When you play on YouTube, you get to play by whatever rules you want. If I hit it fairway on the first hole, I don't want a mud ball, so I'm gonna clean it. And if you hit a bad shot here, we're probably gonna do six takes. No, no. So, so there, there is, there is, there's one rule. There's no two. No mulling in. The only time you get a multiple shot or a, another chance at it, everyone knows two off the first team. 149. I'm going with the old pitching wedge. Great strike. I mean, you're one down. Go in. Oh, great play. It, yeah, it didn't go in, unfortunately. A lot of people don't know. This is Harrison. Uh, I married his sister, and if you're in our in our Discord or follow us on Twitch or anything, you would know him as H-Man. So Harrison's down here with um, me, he's caddy, and this year he came to hang out last year. Got another buddy, Marcus, coming in town. So we're just gonna run back the same vibes as last year. The only new addition, the only new addition, we got Eddie Whitaker behind the camera instead of Carney. Goat wasn't able to make it with George. And Myrtle B. One cup out left. One cup out left. Did it, did it go left or was it just straight? I might have pulled it and it just... That's a big start. Hey, one hole in Puerto Rico, one birdie. I mean business here. This is a business trip only. Thought we were here to have fun. That all changed after one hole. One hole, we're getting serious. One hole, one up, one birdie. Let's go. See you on the second tee. Favor in the center to right, center to fairway. That's the plan. You'll love that. Thanks. You'll absolutely love it. We'll take it. Ooh, it's deep too. Deep. Yeah, high, let it fly. 170 ball speed. All right, Ben, give us a little rundown. Where are you from? How'd you get to the tour? I mean, obviously the story's been beat to an absolute pulp by the PGA Tour. So we just need to beat it one time and one time only on this channel. Yeah, I mean, the one thing that's not talked about in my story. It's kind of in elementary school. I, I grew my luck to the game when I was so young, watching you win the RBC Heritage. <laughs> and I was, I was so. Gosh, thrilled. I was, I was thinking that was gonna go like a really cute, sweet, <laughs> sentimental direction, and it just. And people always talk about the putt Tiger made at Tory. 
get in the playoff with Rocco at the U.S. Open, but for me, it was always Wesley getting it done at RBC. I mean, infamous course, a lot of history. I know. Now, I grew up in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, Tar Heels. Yep. So my parents went to school there, raised me and my brother. Um, went to North Carolina, played golf there. Very well, uh, too. Yeah, time to time, sophomore slump. Um, other than that, it's pretty, pretty good. Got the, got the education out of the way. And um, turned pro. Played in the Canadian Tour, the McKenzie Tour at the time. Um, got on the Corn Ferry Tour. Played well. Yep, uh, I won in Canada. I got on, which helped me get on the Corn Ferry, and then I lost my card. Played horrible. Um, basically, playing mini tours or Latin America Tour Canada for the next year and a half, but COVID hit, and so basically there were a lot of those tours kind of with not a whole lot going on. They tried to create a mini tour in the U.S. for us to play in. Um, but the anyways, Ford tour, very Ford tour, yep. local IQ series as well. Yep. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of different opportunities for us, but to be fair, to be honest, I mean, it wasn't enough to kind of keep guys afloat. For me, I was 20 grand in credit card debt, took a job um, doing what my mom does. She's in the mortgage industry dad is in real estate so did the company pay off your credit card debt for you <laughs> not initially i had to earn my way to, <laughs> to do that but um no what really paid the debt was uh ceo um lord abbott so doug sig i met him when i was playing professionally he found out i quit wanted to get me back it took me a few months to finally say yes to him but um came back to golf got on the fourth grade tour kind of cruised through q school um i think having that Mental perspective reset was huge for me. Got uh, pretty much locked up my tour card from the first five events. I had um, four top 12s in the first five and two seconds. Um, that's scorching golf. Yeah. So and then you made night. it out here. Made it out here. Almost won a couple times. Yep. Um, so I've been on tour for like a year and a half now. Had a, been in the mix a couple times. And you love it? Love it. Absolutely. How can you not? It's a lot better being outside than inside. I'll tell you what. Two for two mud balls. Gonna clean this one off too, guys. Sure. That's my story. Here I am. That was a long story. I hope you all enjoyed that because I did not. I didn't either. Because I've heard it. Like a million times. 25 times at least. The funny thing about that story is I had dinner with Jake Knapp last week and I was like, you're getting ready to be a bouncer for two years, so get ready. Yeah, I think we're gonna go a little hybrid. This is really far back here. I love every bit of this one. Until it goes absolutely scorching over the green. I mean, I loved it until it just went. Woo! 17 at Bay Hill. Sheesh. Enjoy your six iron up there. Our moment right here in this match, right here, could be our moment. Yeah. I failed to contact the golf ball and the ground. I feel. Oh, that's good. That's good. good birdie. into the wind to a pin right in the middle of the green. That's a bad fall. That's a real, that was impressive. All right, well, Ben's back there working on the last green, actually playing a real practice round. Tee box banded is back. I'm going four iron. This is a short par four. It's like a four iron and a wedge. So four iron down the middle, hopefully. Get a wedge in our hand. I'll tell you what, the fairways are not firm. Not firm at all. Not plugs? Yeah. Oh, going with driver. Are you doing this for YouTube or are you doing this for real life? This is what you don't know. Real life. Yeah, I would hit it if I hit it like that too. Very nice. Yeah, right in front of the shot, Trace. Did you zoom as well? Oh, uh, just walk through the shot, trace through the shot. I love it. It's very, you want to go pick up the tee and all that stuff. Just make sure you exit stage left, get a nice shot of the ball, yeah. and then and then you can pick up your tee, or you can do like the guys like Grant Horvat and the George Bryans of the world have really perfected the hit, the back up, grab the tee like that. 
so deal. you still can see the whole ball come down. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I, want, I want your top three favorite golf courses that you've played on the PGA Tour, and then I want your crappiest one, the worst one you've played. Top three? Top three. I'll go Pebbles, um, Spyglass, and Harbor Town. Okay, Harbor Town's in the top three. I love yeah. it. I love Harbor Town. All right. Amazing. Worst golf course on tour is? Oh, say, say, it, say it loud enough for the camera to hear. Your least favorite course is? The Nicholas Course at PGA West. Okay, there you go. However, I played good there this year. I mean, you shot 400. Pretty good. Shot 400. <laughs> like, maybe, yeah. You only shot 400. This guy. My personal <laughs> least favorite is Torrey Pines. North or south? Uh, the one, the, the hard one. Because south. it's too long, the rough is too much, the greens are too bobbly. It's just, it's a really, really bad setup for me. It's too narrow. It, it's impossible to make birdies out there. I just don't like it. Favorites are probably... Harbor Town, um, Colonial, and ugh, trying to get a third. Section. Gosh, I got I got favorite tournaments. It's hard to find like favorite golf courses. What about I just think I think Harbor Town and Colonial. Augusta. Augusta is obviously amazing. Yeah, uh, that's a good, like that. good call. Yeah. I've never played Augusta. So I can't say. Nine iron. One sixty-seven should be a nice, good, full one. The number that Ben's about to have in here is going to be fairly common. All right, Ben, what do we got? 70 yards. 70? Yep. That's a 16 for each shot. Oh. Oh. Oh! Almost great contest. Is that good? Oh! Still got, still got a chance. Still have work. And I still got a chance. A real good chance. right here this is a big deal a lot of people don't take practice around serious i'm not messing around today like i said this is a business trip good luck ben Thanks, i'm really rooting for you Thanks. good putt it's a well played hole it really was i am all square with ben griffin I'll tell you what ben's doing a lot of practicing around the greens for some reason and uh, yeah, just gonna keep sealing the tee box. Hybrid, little 455, trying to keep it short of those trees up on the left. Good. 150 ball speed, or yeah, 245 carry. Oh, that's a nice ball. Oh, there you go. Look at that. He learned. Yes. The key ground. That was kind of nice, right? What you use? Is that what you use? Uh, yeah, you I mean, use? yeah, I use it. I also, like, I haven't been taking my physical fitness super serious over the last year. And I'll tell you what, I feel amazing. Yeah. I'm eating more, I'm eating more candy bars and drinking really? more soft drinks and energy drinks than I have in my entire life. So you're like, you're on a movie theater diet. Uh, yeah, yes. All right, what's your favorite energy drink? I do not drink any caffeine. Look to the camera and Zero. say that again with a straight face. I don't drink any caffeine. How? Sweet tea, I mean, maybe a sweet tea, but like, I don't, I don't do any caffeine. No coffee, are no those for, Are those for religious, religious reasons? No. About it. I love water and electrolytes. Wow. Yeah. See, I'll tell you what, if I could start taking being serious, like like practicing around the greens instead of just going to the next tee box, eliminate caffeine from my life, eat and work out nice or whatever. I, I don't know. We're tied right now, so I don't think I don't think you need to change being you. YouTube YouTube nerves are real. One nine eight down off the left, feeling like seven iron. 
I think full seven iron should be absolutely perfect. Oh, I love it. Good, I think, right? It's hard to tell. I don't know. Dude. Can you even see that? You can't see it. Came down right of the flag. I don't know if it was bunker. Or well, did it carry the bunker or not? Because it, the wind definitely died. The ball was mid-flight wind, 100% died. What's, what's your full pitch and wedge number? Uh, I'd say 45. Okay. So I'm going to take a touch off of it. Not much. I mean, the wind absolutely gusted. And that's just a little deep. Good shot. How do you take five yards off of a, like a full pitching wedge? Like, what's your, do you choke down? Or do you just do it with, like, deceleration or do you do it by shortening the backswing because obviously there's a lot of different ways yeah. to do it how do you personally take I'm just like a five feel, I'm a feel guy so I like to kind of swing almost the same and just, just not excel speed. just not accelerate quite as much dude I love it there's so few of us out here I need numbers um, there's so few of us out here most people want to do it like with a clock system or want to do it with like choking down to a certain spot on the clock and I don't do she's like if you just swing no, a little softer a little soft, right? Yeah, but it's also, it can be situational too. It's like if I hit the smooth one and I need it lower, it's like kind of a back of stance almost. It's still feel, but I'm definitely going to have a shorter swing. So like a shot downwind like that where I need to take some off of it, it's, I don't want to like try to hit it too low and not have the wind touch it. I, wanna, I don't want the wind to do its work. So I just kind of feel it a little bit, try to have the same trajectory. And the so you, you, you just feel the wind and you just become one with the wind and then yeah, and it's, you just it's mother you just, nature. And you just let your brain like get all entangled with the element. Yeah, you don't want to have a war against mother nature. You've got to be on your side. Love so. it. The longest birdie putt I've had today was when I was chipping from four yards off the green into the wind to a middle pin. Ball striker. I'm just saying. People are saying it. They're starting to talk. They're starting to write books about it, actually. Yeah, there's actually. I saw like at least a fan earlier. He was writing a book about it. If he plays it straight, he's going to miss it right. If he plays it straight, he's going to miss it right 100% of the time. Look, you saw that. I didn't see that. I saw it. I felt it right. If you're, if you're enjoying the video so far, if you're enjoying Ben, I think Ben's one of the funnier, I like, I like the really dry sense of humor and stuff. If you're enjoying it, go ahead and drop a like. Drop a little comment. Let us know who you want to continue to see. Now, obviously, we can't go after the big names because I don't get into the big tournaments. Let us know. Is there anybody else you want to see us take on in these style matches? That's good. You've obviously, if you've watched Grant Horvat at all, or Micah Morris, you've probably seen a lot of putts that look like that. So if you had not already subscribed to their channels, go ahead. Uh, links will be in the description. Grant Horvat Golf and, and Micah Morris Golf. Go subscribe to their channels to see more putts like that. All right, part five. Straight back into the wind. Just straight into the bunker. You did tee that up pretty high for straight into the wind. I will say that. Oh, you cannot make birdie from the water, though. Oh my god. Get all the way in the hazard. That's definitely in the water. Splash. Wind. Boom, wow. baby. Boom goes the dynamite. Provisional. All right, we're going to hit a low cut. It's going to graze the tip of these. Uh, I don't even know what these things are. You just Gra called them. You just called them hedges a couple things ago. Graze the tip. Uh, be perfect. Now you can turn around and call out the DOD king and say that's how you hit a driver off the deck more than 250 yards. That was probably 270. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can call him out if you want. I mean, it's your it's your platform. What's his name? DOD king. Yeah, you can call him out. Yeah, D King wishes he could pull off a 270 driver off the deck into the wind out of the rough like that. I'll be honest. And, uh, yeah, I mean the best the best deal is he's got like this war against T using weasels or whatever. Uh -huh. And by you calling him out, like he'll sometimes respond to people who call him out. Set up a match. It's probably not going to end well for him. So he can 
yeah, try and have I'll a have war a, against a... I'll Libyan. have a Dodd match against a big old lip in front of you. Huge Are lip. You I mean, this thing, this thing's like this high. Are you nervous? Like, this, oh crap, if I hit this thin, it's coming right back into my footprint? Or do you try to keep your feet stable in case it hits the lip and comes back and hits your foot and it's still okay because of the new rules? Uh, I didn't even know that was a new rule. In can, all you can, seriousness? You can hit yourself with no penalty. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to hit the ball solid. And if it's not solid, so you just play it from wherever. You're not thinking about. No, I don't think about yourself. a lot of things. Got it. I also don't need to think about worst case scenario because I've experienced worst case scenario a lot. Yeah. That's a that's an absolute sand bath. That's a fairway. Is it in the fairway? Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Solid in the fairway. <laughs> One stroke advantage on Ben on this hole. 178 for my fourth shot. It's kind of a tough deal. Yeah, it's a five iron. End of this win. Oh, you just absolutely dialed up a peach here. Wow, go. what a golf shot. We got a chance for par. Yeah, would you consider yourself a really good long iron player? Uh, when I hit my long iron, it's good, yeah. I feel like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Um, statistically speaking, from the rough, I'm actually very good. <laughs> it's true. The tour has stats on all that. Statistically, from the rough, 175 to 200, I'm elite. I'm top three. I, I think I'm third. I checked last night or a couple nights ago. You want to know what what shocked me when I was looking at the stats from last year? I was. Uh, I always feel like my bunker game, like my short game is overall pretty good. But I feel like if there's one area that I struggle a little bit is out of bunkers because I play with a lot of people and I feel like they are really good bunker players. Yeah. And I just hit some terrible shots, but I also hit a lot of really good ones and occasionally they end you up going in the hole. The, you don't remember right, the good exactly. ones, you remember those. So I go and check the stat. I was like the number three bunker player on the tour last year. In proximity? Or, yeah, in proximity. Yeah. I was like, who would have known? 113, straight in the teeth. I'm going to go with a nine iron. Go with a little nine iron. If it stops, I adjust mid-flight, or mid-swing. Mid-flight? Mid-flight, mid 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 I swing softer. <laughs> mid-swing, I can adjust. Play the Tiger Woods game, spin it back. And uh, I did the thing where I left the club face wide open and just hit it way right of the green, I think. Miss green from uh, 114 yards. But still good look, good look at birdie. Yeah, no. yeah whatever you want to do, you can just leave it in. Nice play. You didn't go in. Did you see how much left that went? Yeah, mine's breaking at the end. A lot. I shouldn't play this outside left. No, well, you. you no, well, I mean, be good to escape uh, with a half. This would be an incredible par. Driver, driver, five iron putt. That's all it is. Clockwork. <laughs> Why did I play so much break? <laughs> As we head to uh, one, two, three, four, five. As we head to six. Yeah, we're through five, so we had to six, I'm one up. I mean, how much did we just talk him into playing more break? That was great. 192, into off the left, going with a little munchy five iron. Little munchy crunchy five iron. Hang in there, ball. Oh, whoa. The wind is, uh, Wind is not really hurting. I pretend was I'm hitting six. That's a good call. Keeps it left of the hole. And now it's working back towards the hole. This is a great shot, Ben. Yeah. Nice. Paid off. Well done. That was sweet. Thanks for the compensator. Because this would be a great shot for at least two, maybe three of the days during the tournament. And it was a great shot today, it just didn't end up very good. And that's carrying a lot of pace, but it might crash into the hole. Sit! Sit! It might crash into the hole.
might be good, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I, from this late in the game, I would make me putt that. Look good until I hit it. Yeah, no, that's a good, that's great speed. All right, we head to the uh, seventh hole. Still carrying a one-up lead over a great player. If you want to, we're gonna link uh, description and socials. What do you? What? What are your social handles? That Ben Griffin Golf. Ben yep. Griffin. Ben Griffin Golf on everything. Ben Griffin Golf on everything. Do you TikTok? I talk. He talks. He TikToks. We got three holes left. One down. Wesley thought the match. Yeah, it very well could have. Mm. 71, dude. Oh, holy yeah, God. dude, I'm smoking the ball now. I love it. How much fuck did you get on that? 15.5 launch. 15.5 launch. That's high bombs into the wind. They go real far. You are back on track. Oh look at look at him look at him grabbing the tee like an athlete. That was athletic. Alright, we're gonna do a little fun segment here. Very fun. We're gonna give you 30 seconds uncut. Say whatever you want to whoever you want, however you want to say it, and your time starts now. Shout out to all my sponsors, Lord Abbott, Worldwide Technology, <laughs> Mizuno, Foot Joy, Holderness and Born Clothing, they feel amazing. New stretchy pants are probably top notch. You know, I know you're a big robot ambassador, but I would have to say this new quality stuff is very, very tailored, properly made. Um, a lot of dedication, a lot of hard work. Shout out to all my sponsors, really. CapTech, can't forget about CapTech on the collar. Sea Island, home course. Very blessed to be where I am today and to be beside this guy. And cut. cut. That was well done, and I don't think you mentioned Mizuno. You did? I did. Oh, was that in the beginning? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, All right. So hey, that was well done. Thanks. And that's the first ever time we've done that segment. Ben was our first guest. Yeah, that it was, was a lot of fun. That was well done. We should we should probably try that more often. Okay, Wesley, you're going to have your 30 seconds here. All right. The show. Ready, set, 30 go. 30 seconds. Here we go. Let's hear it. Wow, I, speaking of clothing, I wear some great stuff. Roback is splendid. I wear the most comfortable shoe in the game, Olakai. If you hadn't purchased any, go ahead and use that link in the description. Same with Roback. Uh, I, I honestly, the Tacoma irons that I'm hitting, not only they're affordable, they are, I, I hit my numbers just about every time I want to do it. Like it's, it's just a cheaper, better option. Um, I'd like to shout out my brother, George, uh, Brian bros really supports me and my family. I couldn't do it without them. Uh, I mean, super stroke grips, they're fantastic. Nice uh, hands. I think I'm, oh, Myrtle Bye. beach. Bye. Bang! Oh, you know, another mud ball brought to you by Puerto Rico. I'm going to reach into my bag of goodies. Speaking of Tacoma irons, I'm going to grab seven iron. Link in description for you to go purchase. Pretty much all the sets of irons are going to be in that $600 range. Highly affordable. It's worth a try if you're in the market for some new irons. All right. Why is the wind not taking it left? Get out of the bunker. Don't plug. Oh, that is not what you We're in the low 70s shot. A little in the wind. I'm going to really try to flight it. That was so bad. Oh! That was oh. up there. That's your chance. That's going to be tough. It's really steep. A lot of weight on the left side. That was so close. That's so good though. Yeah, I'll take it. That's so good. Pluggity doo dah, pluggity day. Stay up. Stay up. to the eighth, two holes to play. Brian has gone two up on Griffin. A good spot. Locked in mentally, I've locked in emotionally. I'm starting to lock in physically. 
I'm ready to bury this guy. Stay tuned. We're waiting on the next green to clear. So now would be a great time. Let's let's hear what you had a good chance to win at Sanderson. That was just a few months ago. What was going through your head? Give it like set up the situation. Well, I just want to hear about it from your from your perspective because I was watching it on television. That's one of my favorite golf course favorite events. I didn't mention earlier, but that's one. That's a trophy that I want. It's a chicken. It's a rooster. Whatever you want to call it. I'm a gamecock. It just be nice to get that. Yeah. One. So let's hear about it. Yeah, I was playing. I was kind of cruising through three rounds. Pretty much, uh, I might have made like a bogey or two, but other than that, I was making a lot of birdies. Eagles golf was easy. Of course, final round of a PGA Tour event's never easy, and wasn't ball striking it that well, but still had a chance. Yeah, I actually had a great chance coming down the stretch. 16. I, I hit it on a two on 14, par five. Yeah. Uh, made a nice birdie there, and 15 made a great par on the drivable par four. It's kind of on TV, you probably don't realize it, but it's that back right pen. If you miss it right, I mean, it's just all running away from you. No, no way it's to get close. It's a hard par, right? Real, realistically, because just to get on the greens, impressive. So you have to miss it left. So you're trying to hit in that left bunker. Yeah, but there are trees the like but right the there. Trees are right there, right. and I, I saw it on camera after I took my tee shot took like one of the biggest bounces ever. But you want to miss it left. I missed it left, and unfortunately, just kind of got going and ended up in the corner of the trees. Had to kind of punch it out, got it on the fringe, drained it for par, which is huge. That put me two up with three to go. Yeah. 16, double left par four, kind of intimidating tee shot a little it bit. It is one of the more intimidating tee shots on tour. That's sure. one tee shot I wish I had back because I was hitting my through it really well and I kind of shifted my target a little bit right just to have a little bit of safety and went through just into the rough and that rough to the back right pen was kind of impossible. Very tough. And so we were actually talking about whether or not I could carry the ravine. Ended up going with five irons. I was like, I want to make sure it gets over it. Sure enough, it comes out hot. Misses the bunker on the right, goes all the way down right. So basically impossible up and down, make a good bogey. And I'm like, all right, I got to par these last two to get it done or hopefully birdie 17 and have a cushion. 17, I got, left myself a good putt. Had like 20 feet up the hill, two putt. And then 18, I kind of had a tricky lie where it was almost a jumper, but not quite, just barely in the left rough. I had a good tee shot. We thought it was probably in the fairway. And it's kind of blind, yeah. ravine. In between clubs, maybe should have back footed an eight iron, but went with the seven just because the wind was picking up. It was like late in the day, you're not sure. I'm like, all right, well, if it jumps, at least it's high. Wind catches it and stays on the green. Pull it left, got a horrible eye. Like I I had to hit like a seven iron or eight iron. One of the more impressive shots from there. Yeah, there. and left myself an eight footer, striped the putt and hit the right edge and Lip somehow up. didn't go in. Okay, so you've got a putt to win a PGA Tour event. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody dreams of how many, how many putts in practice have you hit Tons. to win? Like Tons. thousands probably. Yeah. And, you've, and I'm getting chills literally thinking about it because I had a putt to win a PGA Tour event. It was from this far, which was really nice. That's nice. But that eight footer, is it one of those things, are you like more locked in? Are you extremely nervous? Is it like a comp, like was it everything that you had kind of envisioned it would be? Or was it was like just another putt? No, it's what you think it is. I mean, there's a lot of excitement. You're, you're excited to have the opportunity. Um, it was a tricky putt to read. It was right on a green change where it was like, if I played it straight, it was gonna miss left played a right edge and it never moved and caught the right it still could have easily slipped it i've rewatched it i mean it's going in so slow how many times have um, you watched it i watched it a few i haven't watched it recently I'm kind of trying to <laughs> so okay out, but, but what, what was good is you had that putt to win yeah, and, and and it, even though the, the result doesn't matter you were able to hit your line hit a really good quality putt under that amount of pressure which has got to be very encouraging right absolutely absolutely a lot off the right. I've got five iron in hand, and I love it. I absolutely love it. And I absolutely bottom groove it, and the wind completely dies. This is so unfortunate. Oh, but it's it's short of green. Oh, is it? Two thirty-six is what you said. Yeah. You got an unfair advantage. Yeah, just take a little bit off. Quiet. There we go. I mean, this is probably gonna be the best shot I've ever had. Was kind of fit. That was so solid, though. I did straight that. Fifth. I did, I did need to hold it. Long left. Yeah. No, it's it, it's a if you Point turn short. it over. If you turn it over, have five. Two oh five. If I get this up and down, basically sign, seal, and deliver the match. And that thing's going left hard in a hurry. Sit. 
Five and a half feet straight up the hill for the win. Oh, he doesn't want it. No, I want it. I absolutely want it. I think he wants to go two, one, and one. Is this the first match to make it to the ninth hole? I don't know. I'll have to go back and check the tape. This one, this one does feel like the most intense match. American flag? Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Thank you. Shay. 170. 92. That'll be fine. Close to me. This feels like a really fair fight we have here. Wesley, should I become a YouTuber? Should you become a YouTuber? Yes. You got seven iron in hand. 153. Went into off the right. <laughs> Disappeared into a little low part of the green. I like where I'm at. Good chance to win or tie the hole. All we gotta do. One kicker, if I make, I win. I got yet another putt to win. Even if it misses, I got a decent chance of squeaking out a victory. Worst case scenario, tie, which still feels like a win. Downhill, left to right. Wind's gonna be pushing a little more left to right. Get it out there a little bit on the left. Drip right in. Just no. It's pretty hard. Just no. I think if I play this a ball out left, it has to drop. Ball out left, 100% goes in. Has to. I just wish I had. That's pulled, just, pulled everything all day long. But it just doesn't move. Yeah, you're right. All right, got a putt to win. Now this right here, this is the this is the most nerves I've felt all day. Sounds a lot like George back there. Hit a two footer and I hear, oh, but then I hear rattle. Hey, Ben, thank you so much for coming on the channel. I really do appreciate your time. Thank There's you not guys. a lot of guys out here that are nice enough or honestly interesting enough to come out here and, and do stuff like this. So one, I, in all seriousness, I do appreciate your time. I will send you $20 via Venmo. So if you just text me your Venmo. 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 Yeah, there you go. I'll, uh, $20. Appreciate you guys. If you haven't gone ahead and subscribed, go and do that now. And uh, till next time. If you don't like 40 minute videos from Wesley, you can watch 10 second clips from me on TikTok, Ben Griffin Golf. Thank you guys.